That was fast. Hey guys, it's phase one once again with episode three of the bounty hunting experience in Star Citizen 3.12. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Is anything in this video that you like, make sure you leave a like as well. So right now, I've gone ahead and came over to Microtech, New Babbage, to pick up some more, um, some new equipment. I wanted to upgrade, first of all, the weapons, as well as the shields, if I can get some shields here. So. I came out here to center mass. Came out here to center mass to to check it out and see what we can get. If there's anything else that we see here, we'll we'll pick it up. Um, once we do, then we'll head back into Hurston to continue. Um, let's see now if it'll load up. There we go. All right, so they have missiles. I'm not, I'm not getting into missiles right now. So I think weaponry is what we're looking for. We're looking for guns, the great sword. I'm not looking for ballistic weapons right now. I'm looking for size four rhinos. These are ballistic. I don't want to mess with this right now. I think these are short range though. They're very, very powerful, but very, very, but they're short range. So I'm looking for rhinos. So these are roll dogs. Badgers, Panthers, the rhinos. So the rhinos are the size four version of the badgers that I've been using. No, I've been using Panthers. Uh, I've been using a size three Panthers. So I'm just gonna upgrade those to two of them. I'm just gonna buy two of these. right so that and then i don't know if i want to test maybe i want to get something that can hit from a, a further distance as well i was thinking i think light strike what are these Okay. These look like maybe I'll try these as well. So let's grab two of this. Oh my goodness, forty-two thousand. Damn. Okay, how much did I buy the rhinos for? That is expensive, boy. Um, the rhinos are just eighteen, but this one is forty-two k. Is it that good and these are tavern so this this probably goes along with with a 42k damn this is gonna man you know what i'll come back for this but let me start off with this because this is quite expensive actually and an m6 the m6a's are also wow all right, let's start off with the badgers, with the with the rhinos, and then we'll think about the rest of this. Cause this this stuff is expensive, boy. Okay, so we're we're gonna go with that. Um, I think that's it. Utility. Okay. Turrets, no. Launchers, no. We're good with launchers. I also wanted to pick up some personal weapons as well. So let me pick up this. This is the new um, semi-auto sniper rifle um, from Bering. I'm gonna pick this up because ultimately when we get involved with PvP bounties, we're gonna need, we may need to get on ground, get out of our ship. So we have to make sure that we are well equipped max out on that um for attachments mm. 
I think I want I think by default it will come with a mid-range scope so uh, it will come with a long-range scope I think so I'm looking for something mid-range if I don't get it then I may let me get this size 3 I think size 3 will work with size 3 so let me get this silencer and I will pick up also the I saw the scope it was just a scope right here the three time I'm not sure if it'll actually fit though so I'm just gonna buy one of that missiles. we're not gonna mess with missiles yet I haven't really tested them yet so um, that's what we're gonna do for weapons let's see um i think in terms of components there isn't any other place the only place that i was thinking of is omegas i think i think it's called omega i think it's a cross let's quickly check omega pros right but i think this is just quantum drives i think this is just quantum drives so now I'm not sure unless I go to Dumper's Depot I'm not sure where I can pick up um, shields and I may probably need to head to Alisar because I don't want to go to Art Corp okay okay so propulsion systems oh they do have okay perfect awesome all right so we have a okay, let's see if we can get a a military grade A power power plant. I think it's class one I'm looking for. Grade A industry. I don't know if that's good. I think I want military. I want military. Military B. So this is what we have, I think, at the moment. Military B. No, this is what we have. Military A. This is what we're going to get. We're going to pick this up. The JS-300. Alright. And then we're going to upgrade the shields. I think we have. We need two shields. So, let's ask some more. Clothes. Ooh, are they sold out? Insufficient funds. What are you talking about? This is what I need, actually. What do you mean insufficient funds? Hold on. Let's just get the coolers for now. We'll come back shortly. Hey, uh, I'm looking for military coolers. Perfect. I think I may need two coolers. Man, I'm spending a lot of money actually. Military coolers. It's a lot of money. the shields okay I think maybe they're out of stock what about you military B hold on I may have um, some the same I may have it actually the F the JS uh, 3 is it or is it the FS Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Can't upgrade it now, but shield gems. We can't touch it right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my my hawk. I think. The hawk may have what I'm looking for. So shield gen. I have all stops installed. I could have sworn I bought those already. Military B. Right? So these, right? These are in the car too well. So I'll have to stick with these. Um I'll have to take it from the car too well. 
I'll take him from car the car to wall. Right? So that's what we're gonna do. So um I'll be right back. I'm gonna skip ahead and I'll be right back and then I'll just upgrade the uh the components of the um of the talon and then uh, we'll continue on with the remaining uh the rest of the episode all right i'll be right back hey guys we're back so we're on our way back to hurston i'm um, just gonna go ahead and start upgrading the uh ship itself so for those that don't know you have to go to your loadout manager um from your movie glass select the ship that you want to upgrade so we're gonna go for the talon um for the systems so for power plant we already have it upgraded to this one military uh, B uh, military um, grade B class military with the grade B size 1 so all the components of the Talon are size 1's and smaller vehicles like the Dragonfly um, the Knox are size 0 just to let you guys know um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we already upgraded this. So we're good with that. So this power plant is gonna run everything for us Hopefully it can handle everything though. So we couldn't buy the um, The grade B military uh, Shields that we that I mentioned earlier, but we're gonna use these we're gonna take them from the car to wall And then Grab these from here right and then for coolers we're gonna go ahead and I know we just bought new ones right military grade 8 coolers there we go so we're going to and then weapons we're going to switch these out to size 4s the size 4 rhinos those guns look so big on it now oh my goodness look at that but those are massive wow interesting these are gonna be monstrous when it when when I start um, fighting with it so everything is in place yep everything looks about right Quantum drive haven't touched that yet, but this is stealth. I think these ships are generally built for, to be stealth, because that's why we had the uh, stealth power supply initially. But I'm not gonna use it as a stealth ship right now. Um, maybe later I'll try um, as stealth with the long range size force the, that I showed you guys earlier, and we'll try that uh, a little bit later on. But for right now, we're gonna be I'm equipping it as a brawler hopefully the shields that we picked up is strong enough to sustain this while we try to bring down our and um, our opponent so yeah so I did get the assessment for the next level it's called the low risk targets now so the one that we currently have is the um, VLRT so which is the very low risk targets um, so this one is the low risk target. So that's the next level up. Hopefully we make more money once uh, we, we get this and we um, we pass it. Right. So once we pass it, we should be getting um, better bounties as well. So when we arrive, I will um, accept this and then we'll continue on to go and take on the assessment itself. All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So we finally arrived to Everest and um, so I've already, um, as you guys seen previously, we've uh, already upgraded the um, tail on a little bit. So these are the size 4s. Oh my goodness, that's massive. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's go test it out. Um, let's see how it does. Um, 
we um once we get into the seat we'll, we'll go ahead and, and accept the assessment mission as well so it's a beast of a ship My um, power plant can handle all this. Hopefully, the power plant can handle all this. All right, so let's let's go ahead and accept it. All right. Thank you. So that's this one, low risk, right? We pay a thousand, and we get the mission. So hopefully, it's not too far away from us. Goodness, it's so far. Where is it? I don't even think I have enough quantum pool to jump that far. It's in Crusader. Why is it sending me out of the Crusader? I barely have enough. All right, we're gonna jump, and I'm going to uh, skip ahead <laughs> once again. I didn't expect that. I thought it would be in Hurston. Or else I would have just went straight to um, Crusader if I knew that, that was the case. Alright, so I'm going to jump ahead and um, I will see you guys shortly. Alright guys, so we're back. I made sure I, I went to one of the landing pads of Alisar. So just to make sure that I save, um, save my spawn spot over there. That way if, if the game crashes, we don't spawn back at Hurston. So. So I always remember to do that that type of stuff right now. There isn't full persistence, so you never know. So this guy, I think this guy's at Grimlex. I think he's at Grimlex. Sounds a little. It sounds with. It sounds like it has a little bit more uh, punch than the badger. So that's that's kind of what I wanted. So let's let's cruise a little bit and then turn back around. Test out the guns first. Come on, dude. I see you fight back. Whoa, this guy's he's actually fighting back. Okay. It's an Avenger. 
that was fast i kind of like the sound of the ship it's it, it, it's it's literally a bird um communicating back to you so i've earned okay so let's let's quickly check this out while we cruise so we got a journal tracker beginner permit so this permit is um this permit issued by the bounty hunters guild certifies that you are qualified to pursue and apprehend low risk targets nice all right so let's see if we get more do we so this is another one okay somebody's shooting at me here. what the hell who the heck is this What the heck is this? Hold on. Let me quickly accept this real quick. I think it's a... Uh, quickly, 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 mercenary. I didn't accept this yet. It's always important to accept that first in case it's, a, it's an NPC and you get to earn the money if you kill him. Think this says you're trying to save your boy? The boy is done, buddy. There we go. 1,000. See? I'm glad I did that. Made that extra 1,000. So I, that's pretty good. And. That was good. That was good. That was good. All right. Um. So, guys. Yeah, I'm going to end this uh, for the episode. Um. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And if there's anything in this video that you like, let me um, leave a like as well. And if anything that you dislike, leave a dislike. Any thoughts in this video, let me know in the comments below. Alright, I will see you on the next one.